Last night, I recorded um, a dream of mine that I had last night, and for some reason, it did not save on my phone, so I'll have to do this again. But um, last night, um, this morning, right before I woke up, I had a really interesting interesting dream. It kind of reminds me of those inspirational YouTube videos that you see about humans, you know, uh, good, you know, good thoughts about human beings and stuff like that well this is a uh, one that i had last night which i want to record because i don't want to forget it and um the dream was about um about a restaurant owner um he's now it could go either way the owner could either have been in business for a while but business started to slack a lot because you know of the economy and stuff like that and it wasn't as many, as many people coming into the restaurant or it could be a new restaurant owner a, a owner who always wanted to own his own restaurant he went to the culinary arts and you know there was this big dream of his opened the restaurant and no one ever showed up and he watches the people walking by you know his restaurant is it's a heavy foot traffic in front but no one actually comes into the restaurant and he has to tell his staff one day well we're gonna have to close our shop you know we're not you know uh, making good business and you know nothing so the restaurant owner uh, you know he's gonna close a shop and there is these two homeless people a couple uh, homeless and you know and you can see them out there begging for money and stuff like that and uh, one day the couple um, decides to patronize the restaurant and and um, it was really late there you know the restaurant's about to close it was one day from being closed for good you know like they're going on a business like the next day and he um the homeless person uh, walks in uh, with his wife and uh, i mean they're a married couple the homeless people and uh he says hey you know um i only got like eight bucks what can you do for my wife and i you know we really need to eat we've been noticing your restaurant the whole time we just decided to actually you know come in here and get some knees said i mean we all got this eight bucks what can you you know can you give us anything you know whatever the cost we're willing to pay whatever and um the restaurant owner was like you know have a seat and he seats them down and keep in mind that this is the restaurant owner's first customer either in a very long time or first customer ever that's to say so he goes in the back. He lets the staff go uh, because he knows it's no business. And he decides to go back there and cook a wonderful meal, a full on meal that probably would have cost like 30, 40 or 50 dollars and fixed them a fantastic soul food meal. And and um, and then said and then after the end of the meal, the homeless couple was like, OK, well, all we got is eight bucks. Um, we, you know, we want to pay you, you know, I mean, this, you know, this is, we're really grateful. Um, but at the same time, we really want to pay you. And the owner was like, no, that was on me. Go ahead and uh, have a good day. In fact, go ahead and take some sweet tea with you on the way out. So you have something to drink. So you make some both a uh, large cup of sweet tea and they leave. Okay. So um, now the very next day, that homeless couple, the homeless couple, they go out and promote the restaurant. They tell every single, they stop all the cars and say, instead of begging for money, they literally, you know, go up to the cars and all the people in the street and tell the people about that restaurant. And, and, and they tell every single body, you got to go to that restaurant. You got to go to that restaurant. And that next day, while the uh, owner, you know, had a, you know, staff meeting with all of, you know, the staff and it's like, hey, this is the last day. Sorry, folks, you know, let's just make the best of it and you'll have your final checks next week, you know, whatever. And um, what happened was when they opened the doors, there were three people standing there. He was like, interesting. So he let the three people, the three people in pretty soon more people showed up and more people showed up and then all of a sudden he had a restaurant full of people he looks outside the window and he sees that very same homeless couple that cleaned up just a little bit they cleaned up a little bit and they were out there promoting the restaurant even still before you know it the restaurant was full of people 
paying and tipping left and right. And the staff was like, wow, we are busy. We are getting tips, you know. They were very happy about this. And, uh, and the owner was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. So then he realized what happened and went out to that homeless couple. Uh, they were resting up, you know, from all that walking and talking and stuff. And he says to the uh, uh, homeless people, come inside for a second and fixes them another meal. But in, instead of just a meal, he tells them, I'm going to pay for a hotel f uh, for you two tonight. I want you to get cleaned up and come to work for me. The black um, the black man, you know, uh, the homeless couple, uh, shaves all his beard off and his hair. I mean, literally near bald headed and um, comes to work the next day and becomes a chef or a sous chef for the restaurant. The restaurant owner is like a second chef. You know, he's a chef of his own restaurant, but these but he becomes his sous chef. And you can see him back there cutting up vegetables and onions and and just and just happy and grateful to finally have a job that he can call him you know call his own. Um, the homeless lady uh, becomes um, uh, uh, because she's so great at marketing and stuff. He shows the owner how to do Facebook, and then they're like, well, "You know computers? Yeah. Well, that's because she was an engineer before." Uh, and he was also an engineer and they both got laid off. So that's the whole story is that and, and she becomes the, you know, the person that greets the people at the door, you know, um, and also does the promotions and marketing for the restaurant. So that's the end of the story. Pay it forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the restaurant does good. Peace.